can't, she still can't see it. <laughs> oh my god. He is literally gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Welcome. I'm going to be unboxing this man right here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, our glorified noodle stopper came in the mail today and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox him. This box. Much better than E-Stream's box. So a lot of people compared this figure to the E-Stream Gojo figure. This is Gojo by the way, did I not? I mean, you could see the box. <laughs> so I will put them side by side at the end of the video so you can see how they look compared to one another. Size-wise, look-wise, everything-wise, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox them. I'm so excited, oh my god. By the way, y'all, this box is actually pretty heavy, so he's got a little weight to him. Don't we all? I know I do. Okay, anyways. <laughs> By the way, he is just like Gojo. This is Gojo. Just like the other Gojo. <laughs> he is um, a 1 7 scale. Ah, okay. ah, I'm even more excited to unbox him after seeing the movie. Have y'all seen the movie yet? Let me know what you thought of it. Oh my god. Oh, he is. Okay. Ooh. He's pretty heavy. So, um, this kind of smells like something. I don't know what it smells like. But it's not horrible. Okay, how am I going to show this? The inside is box. See how it says his name? And then it says Mappa Showcase. One seven skill figure. It looks like the ink is wearing off of that. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if that's just mine. But I don't know if it's literally wearing off or they're just trying to mimic this like type face over here, this font where it's also like fading off, but it looks like a mistake. <laughs> so I don't I don't think they executed it that well. Anyways. Who cares? It's just the box. Ah! Okay. Yo! Ah! Oh my god. I'll add a B-roll close up, but oh my god. He's got he's got weight to him. Oh my god. <laughs> he's so cool. Okay. The eyes are beautiful as always. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's let's undo the base and then we will give our thoughts. Oh god, this is like the heaviest base I own. It's got Oh, okay. So it's got this and then it's got plastic. Ooh. Okay. 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 I mean, like, y'all. Okay. Uh, his ass print is right there. And you just line it up. <gasps> y'all. Okay, so all this whole thing is so heavy. Holy crap. First impressions, beautiful, stunning. I love the overall purple of like his clothing and this base. Look how shiny this is. Look how just overall beautiful. Even like the bottom, like this is like really hefty. It doesn't feel cheap is what I'm gonna say. It's like really good. Um, this pattern, I don't really get it to be honest, I mean. You barely even see it when he's on there. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of it is, so if anybody knows, please let me know. But like the execution of the base is so freaking good. Even like right down here, how it like strings over to the other side. Oh my god, and these like twists and curves and the use of shading and 
Oh my god. This is so freaking pretty. But then I don't understand why this... Like, I don't know if you can see it. You'll see it better in the B-roll, but... Oh, maybe you can see it. This seam is there. I don't know why. I kind of don't like that. I know he... Well, let's see. Yeah, you can still see it even when he's sitting on there. I would have said maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal if he was blocking it, but... I did also want to mention that while he has an imprint here for it to sit on his base, he doesn't really have a very obvious one here, or at least one at all, so I don't know how this is really supposed to perfectly sit. Um, you can kind of feel it, but I still feel like I can, I'm never going to get it perfectly right. Um, he is a little loose. I, I don't know honestly if I wish a peg was there or not. Maybe I just wish there was like a, I don't know, I don't even know if I wish there was a deeper imprint. I just wish there was some way he could sit better than just like this. I don't know. He just feels loose to me to the point where I feel like if he, like, if you shake him too much or move him too much, he will fall off. But I mean, don't do that. But I mean, overall, like, that's like the only thing that's like kind of bad about that base. But anyways, our noodle stopper, absolutely gorgeous. So they did what Eastream did and they used this like glossy material for his eyes. I don't know, is it a glossy paint? I'm not quite sure what the actual material is. And so they shine much more. And I really love that because that's the point of Gojo's eyes. Gojo's Eastream figure, his hair had this pearlescent kind of effect to it. And this one doesn't, which I kind of like better, to be honest. I kind of don't like the pearlescent in the Eastream figure. After I recorded the video reviewing it, I kind of noticed it more and I kind of was like, eh, don't really like it. It felt, I don't know, it just feels cheap to me for some reason. I, this one feels much more realistic. Uh, where the purple tints are there, but it's more matted. I think that's much better, to be honest. It feels much more smooth. I think the hair sculpt on this one is almost a little better too, where the like the spikes are much more pointy. Honestly, I love both of them. I couldn't choose. I love them both equally. I love Gojo's crazy look and then i love this very sexy look over here get you a man that can do both i got i got both figures so <laughs> i'm very indecisive so i'm really glad that i picked this up either way uh y'all were going insane about these fingers and i can see why so i'm gonna leave it at that i love the shiny nail polish she's got on um very cute <laughs> um i will say at the bottom there's a little bit of a I don't know if it's just mine. You can also feel it on his ass. On his ass. I don't know if he's that on something or, um, but it feels, it doesn't feel as smooth. There's some like, feels like it's scratched up. I can't see any scratches thankfully, but it does feel like something is there that's not supposed to be. Other than that, I mean, they've got the shoes down. The shoes are similarly like painted as the Eastern figure where it's like shiny and everything. You can't really see his belly like you did with the Eastern figure, but his shirt does have this beautiful lift up and it kind of flows with his uh, propped up leg. The shading is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I mean, overall, I love this. Oh my God, he is so stunning. I love him. By the way, really quick, the reason why I called him a glorified noodle stopper is because on the box, it shows you can literally take him off his base and put them on top of your noodles as a noodle stopper. I mean, come up. So I'm gonna, let's go ahead and compare this side by side to uh, the E-Stream figure. And hopefully then if you haven't gotten either one of them, but you want to choose one of them, you can decide from this video which one you like most. He looks so good sitting on this. I know there's like a life-size one of this figure and I, oh my god can you imagine owning that can you imagine waking up okay never mind okay <laughs> honestly i feel like this can go in a museum this is so stunning okay i need to stop looking at it b-roll b-roll comparison time <laughs>
All right, and that was the Mappa Showcase 1-7 scale Gojo figure. I am, I am speechless at this point. I love them both. I'm so happy I chose both of them. Oh my God. Uh, this one was much pricier, I think, than the Eastream one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know which one you like better after seeing like the two compared together. Let me know if you like this uh, Gojo better or you like the Eastream one better. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.